Welcome to Off-Grid Contracting. Welcome to the top of the mountain today. Um, in this video, we're going to show you a 12.6 kW install broke up in three separate ground mount arrays in two separate locations. Um, for this particular uh, install for this customer, the upper array is 9.2 kW, the lower array is 3.4, and um, that lower array is busted up between two different arrays down there we'll show you shortly. But this one here is built on wood frame mount. It's on a 30 degree uh, tilt. And um, each of these modules are 290 watts. This is, uh, these modules came from Hurricane Wind Power. Um, these are REC modules. Um, a really, really high quality module. Um, we're actually trying to transition to this um, and for future installs because the space that has been taken up over time uh, by the 270 watt modules that we use, um, they, we can actually find the space for that extra 20 watts now in that same area. So that's something that's the reason that we're trying to transition. Um, all the wiring, I want to take you behind here and show you the neatness on the wiring. Because to me, an install is not just about the power production, it's about the quality of the work. Um, as you can see, everything's ran neatly and zip tied. Tried our best to keep everything out of sight and out of mind, plus didn't want no wind damage. The fact that this is open frame like this, uh, it's going to help keep the modules cool. Uh, one thing that we've noticed already out here is usually, especially black frame panels, I couldn't so much as do this on a hot summer day. Um, you know, you'd be cooking eggs on it. But um, thankfully, you know, with, with the way that that can cool, plus the nice breeze in this area and everything, you can touch it. Um, now, it's dusty right now because there's other construction going on. Now, we'll step over here. And now, we had originally planned for 270 watt modules. And don't fall off the cliff here while you're viewing this with me. Is um, because of that little bit of extra space that we had not accounted for with the, the other modules before. Um, we ended up, the customer wanted to fill that up, so we ended up running over just a little bit. Um, but I'll take this with me, and uh, there you can see weather head coming down, um, and then the inputs for the array there. And now the customer requested this to be done, and I was a little sketchy about doing it because of the fact, you know, I was worried that, you know, would it get good input. and. Uh, they also didn't want the windows uh, built on that side of the shed uh, when the shed company done it. So they wanted it kind of covered up anyway. And so we done it and believe it or not, it actually made really good power uh, on it the other day. And I'll try to get you up top there. I don't think I can get up top um, enough for you to see it, but there is eight panels up top. Oh, there we go. I'll take you up the ladder right here. Here you can see those modules spectacular view right there and here is a good view right there of the array and so that pretty much uh, concludes the upper portion other than just in the shed I'll show you that and then we'll go down to the lower array okay so we have two separate OTG boards um, I'll drop some uh, screen caps in of some of the outputs on these the other day uh, when we first turned it on, we uh, have put an additional coat of electrical protection on this. Ladies and gentlemen, we do this anymore on the job site as standard. We do a, a coat, then we go back, we do another coat, and if possible, we can get a third coat on there. We try to really make sure and heavy duty coat these batteries anymore. These are telecom type batteries. Uh, the customer will be adding 12 more and possibly two more magnums later on. Everything is grounded, common bonded, and additional grounding. Um, we've got the service panel ready for the electrician to do their thing. Two more magnums can be added later. We go to their power station. We have a 8-3 wire for their 30 amp service to their generator should they want to plug in an auto connect. This is 60 amps available service to the house. The lower one has just one single magnum 30 amp service. We're, the only thing left we're going to do right here is just needing up some of these cables and stuff. But pretty much that's got this one knocked out. The uh, service cover plates will go back on the batteries here just shortly after that last coach dried. And that's pretty much got this one wrapped up. So with that said, I'm going to take you down to the lower portion and show you that array down there. Okay, so here we have an additional array. And you will step around with me here. We've got two ground mounts that's offset. We've got one that's southern facing and then the back array is southwest facing. And 
the framework and everything that's laid out is similar to the other array, but now because of the wind shear um, and things like that, it has a weatherboard under that um, to shield that. And step right around right here. That's neatly ran down and conduit to the structure. And then also we have this back ray that likewise the conduit's hidden behind. Um, so no potential for damage on that. And then we have this array here feeding to the shed as well. And walk back here. Try to make that as neat as possible. Um, very little footprint was left on the job site. We have a service access in case that anything needs to be done or any add-ons uh, to this array. Small minimal footprint on the inside. will be adding additional battery storage to this. Um, we already checked the array earlier today. The battery bank's full at this point. But we have OTG board that we always fabricate. We're getting that slimmer and slimmer, smaller. Um, we also have the uh, Magnum, our pre-wired, everything good to go. And the 30 amp services that are available, ready for the electrician to tie into and go from there. So that pretty much concludes this install. If you want to check us out, you can visit us at offgridcontracting.com. You can also contact us at gooffgrid at offgridcontracting.com. Be glad to come out and work for you. We'll go anywhere in the world. And until we see you again, look forward to working for you.